Hi there, Mark here again. Welcome to this video which is part 3 of my build guide for the Fighter Buggy RX Memorial on the DT01 chassis. In the previous video part 2 we got the chassis complete and here it is and very nice it is too and so now on this uh, part 3 we're going to get on and do that bodywork and stay with me because we're going to be looking at putting a bit of a cockpit in there as well. So let's get on with it. So doing the bodywork starts at step 27 we go all the way through to step 31 which is the end of the manual when uh, the buggy will be complete so starting with 27 it says to spray the body um, which is already black it says to spray it black um, you could paint it I suppose but um, if you're going to run it like me you're going to run it hard I wouldn't really bother because it'll just chip off again and uh, you know it's not a bad black finish anyway as it is so uh, if you want to paint it black go ahead do that um, but as I say, we'll just stick the sticker straight onto this. Um, step 28 is doing the driver figure. I've already put the helmet together, as you can see. And what I normally do is put it on a, a stick so I can work on it a bit easier and spray it. Um, yeah, so there he is so far. A bit of flesh on the on the face. I need to put the black accents now around uh, where, where the trim is on the helmet. So I'll just get on with that in a sec. And also, I've got the body poor chap hasn't got any arms I've been looking for another actual driver figure because I might be looking at making a bit of a kind of a cockpit for this uh, it would be good to have some arms and a steering wheel but I can't find one at the moment um, so uh, you know with the problems we've got with getting Tamiya parts so uh, we're gonna have to go with this at the moment again I've sprayed him uh, red it's a bit gloss at the minute but I'm going to put a bit of flat lacquer over that um, again I need to put the black accents on the seat belts and a bit of uh, silver on the buckles so we'll get on with that just a little tip you can see here i've got some off cuts these are off cuts from um the tamiya window mask which are really good masking and i always keep the bits and pieces so these will be great now for just i'm just going to mask around the bottom of the helmet with that and it should make it a bit of a nicer line when i uh, peel it off so let's give that a go okay so there's a bit of masking tape applied i haven't gone round to uh, the tight corners here because it's going to be a bit difficult to do but uh, let's have a go at brushing it on so you want a nice small brush and what I recommend you do when you when you brush painting is really uh, load up the brush properly don't just kind of put a tiny bit of paint on the on the tip of the bristles you want to get the paint all the way up the bristles um, so it's uh, carrying that bit more paint will flow down a bit nicer for you when you start to paint hopefully so let's just gently get this done you have to excuse me it's a bit difficult to actually look at this and paint and try and keep it in the viewfinder of the camera at the same time hope I've got this in shot but yeah basically nice and steady and again with it on the stick you can turn the stick instead of moving the brush which is sometimes that bit easier And as you can obviously tell with this, I've gone against the box art with the uh, the helmet colour. It's supposed to be red, I think. But uh, I've got some gold spray and I thought it might look quite good with the gold wheels and the gold stickers. So, yeah, we'll see how it comes out. Okay, we're getting there the best as I can do with my dodgy eyes anyway so last thing I'm going to do is get this uh, cocktail stick I'm going to dab a bit of black on the end and try and uh, do his eyeballs with it or his, <laughs> his pupils anyway so let's have a go look too bad so yeah like I said while the paint's still damp I'm going to take this uh, masking off it's a nice straight line I 
Yeah, not too bad. It's not perfect, but it'll be alright while he's in the buggy. I'm uh, just going to get some stickers onto the helmet and that'll be that finished. Just a bit of silver to put on there. So that's the driver done, as far as I'm concerned anyway. Um, yeah, so we've just got to screw his head on. And the only other thing you need to do is you have to spray the radiator part that goes uh, on the body the silver, which I've also done. So let's get on with the stickers. Okay, so you get a really shiny sticker pack with this. Um, it is going to be a bit awkward actually, because what we've got to make sure is we cut all of this shiny silver backing off from around each of the uh, numbered stickers because any of that left on is obviously going to show up against that black body so uh, it says stick them on in number order so let's get on and cut number one out nice sharp pair of scissors and try and get that on first okay then once you've cut it out just peel a little bit off, cut off a little bit of the backing, and let's see if we can get this positioned. When it looks right, stick that bit down, and we peeled off, and then slowly push it across, making sure to get all bubbles out. Another little tip for uh, pressing the stickers down is to use uh, a lens cleaner, a lens cloth for a pair of spectacles or glasses. Uh, generally they're lint free so it shouldn't leave any scratches or any bits of dust so give it a good press down with that. Yeah, looking really nice. So let's find number two, which is this one here. And obviously I'll speed some of this up and I won't show all of the stickers going on on camera because we'll be here all day but uh, you get the gist of it anyway and that number two goes on here just get lined up with this uh, edge here first I think and be careful with this bit because it's uh, it's kinking up a bit the paper is kind of going around that curve but uh, yeah slowly slowly right carry on in the same way So that's the body finished and uh, very nice it looks too. As you can see I've installed the driver and uh, put the radiator on the back. So yeah that's ready to go, let's just get it onto the uh, chassis. I'm really liking the look of this buggy, it looks even better uh, in the flesh if you know what I mean than it does on camera I think. But uh, there's just one thing bugging me and it's the fact that you can see the servo through there and if you look in you can see all the wires, the ESC and so on. Uh, yeah, it just looks a bit of a mess, kind of spoils it, so what I'm going to try and do is cover all that up. Um, what I've done is I've made a template out of cardboard. Um, just going to fit it underneath and show you what, I'm, what I mean. Uh, but as you can see now, it covers everything up like that. So, all we need is something a bit more uh, substantial than this cardboard. So what I've done is I've had a hunt around and I found this old uh, carton, I think it was from a ready mill or something like that. Um, it's fairly thick, uh, thick enough anyway. And it's, uh, it's already got this angle here, which I think I can use to uh, replicate this part of it. Anyway, so what we need to do is get the uh, template. What I need to do is put it in something like that, draw around it, and then see if I can get this uh, 90 degree bend into the plastic. Well, we'll have a go anyway, so I'll get this cut out first. OK, 
okay so that's basically the part we need um, try and get a bend in this and uh, yes yeah, if it fits okay so that's the plastic in there bit of a test fitting um, it's not a perfect fit but I think uh, it's going to do the job so let's see if I can get some uh, black paint on that and uh, we'll see if we can get it fitted permanently right so I've sprayed it and I've just as you can see uh, attached this with some hot glue it's a uh, a good secure fix it's not going to move anywhere and uh, yes yeah, so I've sprayed it black and uh, there you go it kind of looks like it was made for it really there's this kind of uh, a lip with a bit of an angle that was in the bottom of that uh, that carton and it kind of matches the angle somehow of uh, of the windows and and uh, the bodywork so yeah I'm quite pleased with the way it's come out and that's going to block all those cows out so let's just try it on the buggy, on the chassis. There you go. No more cables, and mainly you can't see that white uh, servo horn sticking up there. The servo saver. Um, yeah, I think this. I had to raise this up to clear that servo. Obviously, the servo saver in there. But uh, I think it looks, you know, something like it's uh, not too bad at all. Really pleased with that. So there you go. That's the finished buggy. What I'll do is um, I'll take some photos of it in the uh, sunlight so you can see what it looks like, you know, out in daylight. And uh, yeah, I'll leave you with that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>